everyone welcome back to cooking with Jamila today's video I'm going to show you how I make my hidden beans for the new viewers welcome to the family and if you're already part of the family welcome back welcome back to another video I have for to make this recipe is some canned kidney beans I have some onions bell pepper garlic tomato paste and spices of my own taste here I have aromat I have curry I have reiko and mixed spices so first I'm going to add in some oil first I'm going to add in my top onion and garlic and then I'm adding in my bell pepper if you have like carrots and other vegetables you want to put inside this is the part where you can put them in but I'm using what I have in the house and the next part I'm putting in my tomato paste you can use fresh tomatoes or any type of tomatoes you always cook with. And I'm going to just let the tomato paste like cook for like a little bit like five minutes to get that flavor and then I'm going to add in some spices. The next part is my spices. I'm putting in some curry, aromat, roiko and mixed spices and then I'm going to add in the beans and for me here is when the trick to making the best kidney beans comes in because I like to smash some and then leave some whole you know like this is the same way like when you're making um, you know we have kidney beans this is what I'm used to making now but before I used to make the the beans the ones you cook for some time and then you will make the stew I think they're called fresh beans because those ones they're dry and everything so you don't need to but these kidney beans are already cooked and they're soft so and also this recipe can I feel like it takes like 15 minutes to make and you're ready to eat food. The only reason to mash the kidney beans is to kind of make the stew thick. Oh, and another thing, it's the first time I'm using these kidney beans that are dipped in chili sauce. So I'm so excited to see how this one is gonna taste. These ones, we bought them in Sweden. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of water. But, and the sauce that came from the canned beans so the sauce is in here and some water so I'm done adding in some water and I'm going to let the beans cook for a little while you know and one more thing you could do that I forgot to mention is if you want to make it like the West Africans you can add in meat or chicken or something like that someone here in my house always makes it like that oh, like they are chicken not meat or chicken meat and chicken. <laughs> like the West Africans how they do they I think they put shrimps also in the Everything bins <laughs> and fish and all those different things so if you want that mixture you're welcome to do it but for me I just like beans beans I like like to eat vegetables vegetables and the other things the other things and also we have to go green <laughs> here are the beans they're done and I'm going to plate it and show you how I'm going to serve my beans I'm serving my beans with rice today so here is the finished product as you can see I'm serving my beans with avocado and rice I want to test this uh, because this is another type of beans I'm using to see how this tastes. It's not bad, but I feel like this one has a sweet, a sweet taste to it. So if you don't like that sweet, 
sweet taste it's like um it feels like it's beans in ketchup at least this type of beans because usually i buy the normal kidney beans without any sauce in it so i recommend the normal kidney beans with no sauce if you like the video remember to give it a thumbs up and comment down below and if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and hit the notification bell thank you for watching this video see you next time